So good morning, uh, good evening, uh, wherever you are in the world. Um, I'm Tracy Howe. I'm one of the uh, co-chairs of the governing board and I'm joined by Catherine Marshall, uh, the other co-chair. Um, I'm, I'm based in uh, Wellington in New Zealand. Okay, thank you. Um, so a quick introduction to the session. Um, here's the agenda. Just to say that uh, the world is constantly changing. Um, over the last two years, we've had dramatic changes for everyone with the COVID pandemic. Um, there are lots of other changes happening in terms of the open access and business model for Cochrane. And the needs of our beneficiaries have changed and we need to be very mindful of what their needs are, uh, many of which are around um, faster access to information, timely production of reviews, and of course, how we present those reviews. So we're living in a very complex world and the governing board have charged Judith, our chief executive officer, with creating simplicity of the organization. And um, so there's restructure uh, around the organization. And we've charged Carla, our editor in chief, with simplifying review production, making it more uh, efficient and effective, um, but also maintaining high quality. And that's really the focus of the presentation today. So at the end of the session, we'll be taking questions and answers. But if you can add your questions into the uh, questions box throughout the presentation, that will be very helpful. And we hopefully will get to everyone at the end. Um, and if not, we will be keeping all of the questions and answers and responding to them and um, sending that information out. So thank you for attending today and I'll now pass over to Judith to give you an introduction on the Cochrane strategy for change. Hopefully you can hear me now. Uh, thank you Tracy. Um, what I plan to do this morning is uh, talk you through the strategy for change and the sort of key elements of the strategy for change and how it is guiding everything we do now. Uh, could we see the strategy next slide please? So hopefully many of you will have seen this strategy for change which we launched in July. Uh, it built on the consultation that was done with all of you, with the Cochrane community over the past year and more. And what we have done here is try to synthesize all that feedback and consultation and input, uh, but also make it relevant and appropriate for the challenges uh, and the context that have emerge particularly over the, the past months. Um, we, we think it's really got some coherence and uh, works really well together. And I will talk you through the goals, particularly uh, goals and the objectives, but I just wanted to really emphasize the wholeness of this and how everything works together. Um, also really important to say how much this is guiding everything we do now. This is our reference point. So if we're not sure about something, we go to the strategy for change. Um, so this is a, a really important um, slide and a really important page here. Okay, next slide. So our vision is a world of better health for all people. And, and that's really important. I mean, this is not, not new to Cochrane, I hope, uh, but I think what we've done is really try to, to crystallize what we're here for in 2021. 
we really want to focus on uh, individuals and communities around the world and uh, better health and care. And this really re-emphasizes what we do as Cochrane, our mission as an independent, and we all know how important that is to Cochrane, an independent, diverse and global organization that collaborates to produce evidence and make it accessible um, and advocate for its use. And that will come through in, in the three goals that are part of the strategy for change. So that's the top line. Um, these four principles, uh, you will all be very familiar with the full set of principles that are part of the DNA of Cochrane. And those principles are still there. They're still part of the DNA of Cochrane. What we have done here is lifted out what we see as the four key ones for the cur current challenges and, and the challenges over the next couple of years. Collaboration, of course, relevance, the right evidence at the right time in the right way, integrity always at the heart of Cochrane and quality. And that means keeping on reviewing and improving what we do, uh, being somewhat restless, never being quite satisfied because there's always more we can do to improve and get better. Next slide. So these are the three top line goals. Um, so goal one, of course, producing trusted evidence, absolutely the core of what we do. Um, and this is about high quality responses to priority health and care questions. Um, and also very importantly, part of this goal is streamlining review production and simplifying our editorial systems and processes. And Carla, of course, will talk more about this, but this is, this is a very key theme that emerged from the consultation and the changes that have been happening over the past year or so. Um, advocating for evidence. Oh, sorry, what I should add in terms of producing trusted evidence Part of that is obviously still very much about the methods we use and continuing to work on uh, the methods we use to produce evidence. So goal two is about advocating uh, for evidence. So this is very much about you know, trying to um, use our voice and our experience to make sure others, other players, um, understand the importance of evidence-informed healthcare and uh, sign up to the, the principles of evidence-informed healthcare. Sadly, as we know, uh, in this post-truth world, uh, evidence has, has uh, perhaps suffered a bit of a knock, and I think we are in a, an amazing position to reinforce the, the, the importance of evidence-informed health and care in particular. And, you know, Integrity is very much part of this as well, advocating for integrity in, in research and reviews. Uh, goal three is about informing health and care decisions. You know, the work we do is not, not relevant or useful unless it's used. And so the use of, of, of the evidence that we, we produce is, is really key. And so we want to absolutely make sure it makes a real difference, has an impact on health and care decisions. Um, and that means making sure our evidence is accessible, it's usable, and it's available, and it is used. Yeah, one, one of the things I said when I, when I um, was, was in the process to, to join Cochrane was the way I see it, Cochrane saves lives. Cochrane saves lives, it changes lives every day through the impact it has on health and care decisions. And we should all be immensely proud of that. Part of that informing health and care decisions is, of course, our commitment to open access. And uh, that usability is really key. And uh, engaging more with consumers is also very much part of, of goal three. 
Um, but that that in, that goes through everything that we do. So those are the three goals. Next slide, please. Um, so I've talked through the objectives for, for change, which are the, the objectives that deliver on those three goals. I did want to just say a quick word about the enabling objectives, because these are really important in the current time. Um, we all, this is very much uh, for all of us to be thinking about. We are very challenged uh, in many ways financially, and you know, many of you are feeling that quite acutely at this time. Certainly we are in the central executive team, yet we are very much looking at how we can significantly reduce our cost base and Im improve the efficiency of what we do. So I think it's a really important part of where we are now that we collectively look at how we can improve efficiency uh, of our organisations, but also the efficiency of uh, our review production and the way we produce and disseminate uh, reviews. Uh, sustainability is key, isn't it? And that's linked to efficiency. You know, we want to continue uh, operating as Cochrane. Cochrane has had such an amazing impact since its inception. We want Cochrane to continue to survive and thrive into the future. And if you believe in the mission of Cochrane and the vision of Cochrane, which I know you all do, I certainly do, we all want this, we all want Cochrane's work to really uh, sustain and continue into, into the long-term future. And so making sure the way we work is sustainable is really important. And that means things like link it, living within our means and making sure we think about the long term and adapt and change uh, what we do to make sure it's fit for now but also fit for the future. Um, part of that sustainability is looking at different ways to raise money and fund the work we do so we are investing in fundraising for the Cochrane community. Um, we hope certainly um, in the Centre for Executive Team to be recruiting a director level fundraising role imminently uh, and that will be specifically to work with um, not just the CET but the whole community to increase the resources available for Cochrane reviews and Cochrane's work um, and linked to that very closely is uh, increasing our awareness and impact because we can't raise that money unless we unless people know about us and want to support us and um, are very clear on the difference we make as, as a community. So increasing our awareness in, and impact is, is really important, enabling objectives. And last but certainly not least, enhanced accountability. Um, and that encompasses things about the way we work as a community, uh, the, the way we engage the community, the way we make sure we have um, clear lines of, of uh, communication, engagement and accountability across the community, but also our commitment to diversity and inclusion and how key that is to the work we do at, at Cochrane. Um, so that's the strategy for change. Um, I hope that's been a helpful introduction.